Hey everyone, welcome back to more of a big hunk of Hyrule. And we're gonna start going through level 9. And this is a uh, kind of tricky. There's a few gimmicks in here that don't really help out much. Alright. Now, if you go up, you actually already find, um, already find Ganon. Uh, the problem is we have no Silver Arrow. So you can actually walk through the wall to the right. <coughs> and that is what the, the whole point of this level is to get that Silver Arrow. The whole point of this level is to get the silver arrow. And of course it you know you're gonna expect it to pretty much be in the last place you're gonna look. Now there's a again a few gimmicks with this level. It may or may not be helpful for you. Okay, so that compass is pretty much next to useless because you already know where Zelda is. Pretty much useless compass there. Yes, uh, if you pay attention very carefully, yeah, this level... A lot of these rooms have instant enemy respawn, which that is going to be a big problem for me. That actually could be a real issue with me <clears throat> within this level because um, it kind of negates using that one enemy trick. Okay, I'm not going to go to the right because that's a trap room, that's just 10 blue whiz robes, or 8 to 10. I'm not willing to do that, because since I have no red ring, easily can die in these in those trap rooms. Okay, it could be worse than this. As always, every room I, I keep expecting blue whisper hopes. This room, okay, just a map. <clears throat> yeah, you can see how helpful that map was, huh? <clears throat> that map gives you so much information. I'm not gonna go to the right. And if you were the instant enemy respawn in this a number of these rooms. But sometimes it can be used to your advantage, you know, in terms of refills. Because you're probably gonna get beat up pretty bad in this place, so uh, anything you can do for to get refills actually will help out. Might as well get rid of that for later. <clears throat> if you go to the right, that's the main path, but um, there's a locked door, basically. You don't have a key. Great, a whole 
pretty much a, what, eight to ten of these guys now? you get this first. Look at that, uh, these things just respawn the moment I stepped out of the room. Oh boy. Yeah, you know you're gonna have some issues with this level, huh? Probably going to be a real pain in the butt. <clears throat> and you pretty much are, will have to exit this level after you get one of the two items. Wallmasters respawn, so you might be able to try to grind off refills. Okay, uh, this room... Um, if you go right... There's another one of these trap rooms with a whole bunch of blue wizards. Uh, if you go right, it just loops, so nothing to the right. So let's just ignore that and move up. Yeah, this level is gonna be a pain. It actually just gets worse later on. I don't think there's anything else in this room. <clears throat> and actually, if you go up, it just loops the same room. <clears throat> so we'll take a little detour to the left then. I actually might want to have my wand out because I can still do the Slash trick with the, with the wand. It's just gonna take more hits. <clears throat> but at least I can still do it. I'm not a sitting duck. Um, I don't think you can go up. I think that door is always closed. Leoc. And it's just going to be easier to, to tank through that. Alright, so you can actually go up. And 
level is kind of really weird. There's enough puzzles to give you problems. But again, this is more combat-based, so that's where the problems are gonna come in. Messed this one up, didn't I? Yeah. I think you had to go from the left side. <laughs> In this room, ten blue wizard robes. I mean, are you kidding me? Just, uh, spam the bombs. I got a good hit on that one. Dude, I'm in big trouble right now, huh? Oh, boy. And this isn't even... I'm not even halfway through this place yet. Imagine if you didn't get the meat. Oh boy, that would be a big problem for you. So, uh, I think going down leads to a dead end. I don't think there's anything in that room. Yeah, this one could be kind of tricky with all the like likes. Keep moving around the room, you know, so that those statues don't just focus on one spot. That way you can at least um, get some damage on. I, mean, I am really running low on life right now. This is crazy. This is really bad right now. Um, I still have that potion. I have that one potion I can use. Um, I think if you go down, it's a trap room, so I don't think I want to risk that. <clears throat> Let's go on left first. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to net gain life here. I'm gonna need a lot more hearts than this. <clears throat> now, if you go down, it doesn't lead to anything. Again, the thing is, get instant enemy respawn, which I might be able to put to my advantage here. <clears throat> I actually might be able to use this respawn to my advantage now. Okay, getting a lot of refills in this cycle. So a lot of this may just be rinse and repeat. You know, just go back and forth and do it over and over again. Since you got the auto respawn. So this is where really learning how to deal with the blue dark nuts really pays off for you. So, 
um, that trap room. I'm, I'm not gonna go back to those rooms, obviously. <clears throat> now this room, there's more to it, so you have to use your flute in this room. Ah, oh, thank goodness I'm putting the enemy respawn to my advantage now. This is a weird room. A weird mixture of enemies. Yeah, get rid of the harder enemy and just leave uh, this easier one behind. Okay, if you go up, it's gonna lead you backwards. Because you're gonna go up and then, um... Down. It's very weird. Actually, I'll just show it to you for um, for kicks. Let me first go through this room first. Yeah, there's another Gleok in this room. Get rid of you first. in this room, but if you go back down, you actually go back to that other room. So unfortunately, there's this kind of backwards logic. And I'm probably gonna have to grind for some more hearts because I took a beating with that Gleok there. Darkness drop parts so often. You pretty much can get enough refills to get, keep yourself going. Probably good enough on life for now. Alright, so... You head on to the right, now we just follow the simple path. Okay, don't mind this room, just bomb to the right. Get out of that room as fast as you can. And that's weird, just a single red bat there. I believe you could use your flute in this room. Uh, but that's gonna take you backwards as well, so we'll just pass on that for now. I think I've dealt with enough to dongos already. Bomb supply up at least. All right, so follow this fairly linear path. Well, luckily, I have plenty of money. Okay, if you go to the right, it leads you right back to the start, so uh, I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> now the problem is you don't have meat, and you feel like you're gonna get stuck at this point. So, you know, you're wondering what to do now. Now, here's where you're gonna do something somewhat counterintuitive. Because remember, to the right is the start, so you 
you know, you're gonna be kind of reluctant to go to the right. But in this case, you know, let's just try it out. Now, if you notice, you actually went up, not right. So it's very tricky on this one. Almost that fear of going back to the beginning of the level is, you know, may make you not want to try going right. Easily can get stuck. some easier enemies for once. I got rid of that thing. It'll make my life a little easier, I suppose. Nothing in that room. Kind of a weird design there. Oh, fairy. Okay, that always helps. in here or something. Now this is very convenient. You actually have a fairy fountain. That's actually very convenient. Because uh, this next room can be kind of a pain in the butt. This ten blue whiz robes. Now, I don't know if they respawn. Um, I'm just gonna recharge. Okay, good, good. That works in my favor. Because now I can uh, just go in and out and just keep uh, recharging and take a few out at a time. Alright, so you can actually go up. Pretty much nothing in this room, just uh, a bunch of ladder paths. Alright, so after you get rid of all the garbage, um... Even 
if you go left, I think it just takes you... Yeah, just ten more blue wizard robes. Uh, so... Actually, you don't want to go that way. You can actually bomb up. And there's the magic key. This is what you're gonna have to take back to level 8. You, I don't think it matters which way you go, it's gonna... Oh no, okay, this doesn't do anything. Um, I think if you go left, it takes you back to the beginning. So that's... basically, that's half the level. the first half is getting that, um, okay, these dark notes are starting to come, that's so beat of me, it's, the bubbles are like just swarming around me, of course, you know, so I can't use my sword, of course, sure, I can take you guys out. Not so tough now, huh? You only had like one hit left. Okay, you still can't really do anything because, uh, you know, again, you still have no silver arrow. Just gonna walk out of this place. Alright, so I'm gonna cut it off here and I'm gonna restart uh, the next part pretty much at that door next to that lock in level 8, and so we'll go from there. Alright, see you guys later.